Well, good greetings and beautiful and abundant benevolent blessings to all you wonderful souls out there. Kiara Ducast here from the All Things Health and Wealth Show. And uh, guys, I have an absolute, absolute crazy emergency right now. And uh, I'm pretty confident that it's uh, um, all the, the lungs being liquidated at the moment and uh, pushing down. Um, but let's just have a look. Let's uh, see what's going on here, guys, because Bitcoin is just falling out of s absolutely nowhere. So give me a moment. So, wow. I mean, you can see here, I put, had my white line here. And uh, that white line was the 41,000 level, right? So we're now back below the 41,000 level. Uh, this is the four hour time frame. And I can tell you guys something that uh, we've broken this low. We have officially broken this low, which is the low that we didn't want to break, but we are still within my purple box range. And um, I can say to you that if we can successfully pull our candle back up above this white line um, before the day close, and we make sure that within the next two to three days we're staying above there, um, that we will be safe uh, for an up uh, continuation of the upward trend and the upward momentum. But we have some serious, serious uh, sell pressure here at the moment so that's really not looking healthy for us at all um, because that's the same amount as the buy up here and we can see that we have fallen a substantial amount more so we can see we're holding up at the moment but um, I have to show you something uh, a little bit more on the day time frame at the moment because in the day time frame we're starting to really look uh, unhealthy again um, you can see we've got a very, very strong bearish candle, but the volume isn't that strong. It's just a little bit less than, a little bit more than this candle. And, uh, but now we've officially broken back below my green line. We failed and uh, we came back below, but we're still sitting here on my purple box. So, um, you know, anywhere basically down until 34,000 would mean that uh, we are still in a bullish moment, you know, well, Technically not, actually, because the ribbons would f start to pull down again, which would then, of course, cause uh, a continuation on the waterfall pattern that we've seen on the four hour time frame. Uh, so that wouldn't be really healthy for us at all. And uh, this being a higher top and a lower top, uh, that's also really not healthy at all. So and on top of it, our daily um, bar is closing now by the looks of it underneath the uh, ribbons and we all know when it closes underneath the ribbons waterfall waterfall effect that's so that's really epic guys um and then even more to consider actually because this is where it really does doesn't look so healthy for me at all as a technical analyst on the chart and the trading charts because i have seen this pattern hundreds and hundreds of times look at this we had a bullish breakout, okay? So as much as this candle was a reversal candle and we pushed back up, this candle pointed and uh, this bullish candle closed within my purple box, okay? But closed below this candle here in terms of volume, okay? First of all. Second of all, this was a somewhat doji, but it didn't close as an, a doji specifically, which would have closed in the green preferably. But um, this is a sh this is a very unhealthy looking candle because we tested up the moving averages, and of course my channel, my green channel, on this is the weekly time frame, and we pulled straight back below. So we are nowhere near on the weekly time frame back up into the. Um, the ribbon here at the moment. So and and then now this week's candle. So for some miraculous reason, we need this week's candle to pull back above my purple box here. That would be the forty three thousand level at the very least. Yeah, um, would be my personal preference, and um, a, a good sign for the markets. But we can see here if we're closing underneath my purple box, we're definitely going to be coming back down to this purple box around the 36 to 30, 34K level. And that's really looking unhealthy for, for Bitcoin as well. You can see the volume on the week isn't that much. Uh, it's definitely not nearly as what last week was. So, so far that's um, a good sign um, that we won't necessarily go too, too far down. But um, guys, we're under the um, ribbon at the moment on the weekly. And we all know what that means, that we come down, right? Okay, and this 20 average 
is uh, starting to cross over here, which is starting to look really very, very unhealthy. And um, yeah, um, uh, let's go and have a look on the on the monthly time frame here quickly, because that's also going to matter. I mean, on the monthly time frame, guys, whew, we're we're sticking well, but uh, hopefully we can stay uh, quite. Above this white line, that would be really good on the monthly, and uh, that would be a 41k. I'm going to call it 41k, uh, 41k level. Um, so actually, at the moment, guys, really, we're looking, we're starting to look a little bit more bearish than damn bullish. So um, we're probably starting to look about a 50-50 chance, and I know you're all not going to really like that, but I'd probably say a little bit more along the 55 uh, bearish and about 45 uh, bullish from a technical uh, perspective. And I'd say that because the only time frame that is pointing in um, bullish momentum at this moment is the highest time frame at the at the monthly time frame. And uh, that's a really good sign, but the rest of it is looking, starting to look very, very bearish. And um, we all need to take cognizance of that. So we might see some, some serious retracement action here. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, you are all just prepared and uh, ready for whichever way the market ends up going. So blessings and love and light. That was a quick emergency update for you all. Blessings and love.